Here is the formal definition of Turing machine. A Turing machine is defined as a seven tuple. Q, the set of states. Sigma, the set of input alphabet. Gamma, the set of take alphabet. Delta is the transition function. And Q0 is the initial state from where the machine starts. B slash is denoted as blank space. If the cell does not contain in the tape anything, then we denote it using B. And F is the set of final states. Now, if we are considering Turing machine as input output device, then this F is null. So what you get Q is the set of states. Here we have, it can be from Q0 to QP. And sigma is the finite set of input alphabet. Finite, obviously they are all finite sets. Finite set of input alphabet. Gamma is the set of tape alphabet. Now, sigma is contained in gamma, obviously, because the input alphabet is also the input is also kept in the tape so the tape may contain a blank space so this blank space is also part of the tape alphabet and these input symbols are initially kept in the tape and the Turing machine can write something into the cell say this is the transition rule if it is in Q0 and the input symbol is A1 then it transits to Q1 it changes the cell content to x1 and moves to right then what happens it will rewrite this a1 here with x1 and it will move towards right transition takes place from q0 to q1 and it moves towards right so x1 is also the tape symbol as well as a1 is also the tape symbol so all the input symbols are part of the tape symbols so sigma is contained in gamma as well as gamma can have some more elements the turing machine writes these elements into the tape symbols into the tape when transits from one state to other so delta is the transition function it is defined in this way delta the transition takes place depending on two things the initials the current state and the current input so it can be the element of q that is cross product with the tape symbol that means any association of element of q with any association of tape symbol that actually maps q cross gamma cross right or left that means it can move to right or it can move to left so this is the mapping uh, for delta rule and that means if q has q0 q1 q2 these are the states of the turing machine and gamma has these symbols a1 a2 x1 x2 then the cross product of these two sets is actually the association of these three elements with these four elements any association that can happen they will actually move the state to some other state belonging to this q okay and then it can rewrite the tape symbol into the cell and it can move towards right or left so it is the cross product between this any element of this q and gamma and r of l so this is the delta rule then q naught is the initial state q naught is initial state from where the machine starts b slash is considered as blank space in order to denote the cell does not contain anything and f is the set of final states f set of final states now f is obviously i'm writing it here f is obviously subset of q now if we are considering as i told you that it is as a and input output device then f can be considered as null so this is the formal definition of turing machine in the next lecture i'm going to give you some examples uh, of turing machine as io device as well as as an accepted device thank you